What's going on, everybody? K to the two here with week six of the CCL D League. This week we are having our rematch of week one, where Garchomp went five and zero. Uh, so look for Garchomp to be a huge threat against him uh, yet again. Um, uh, as it was my main win con last time, I'm looking for it to do pretty much the same kind of thing this match. Um, and you can look at my team, and then you can look back at week one, and then you're not going to see that much of a difference. Because honestly, there is that not much of a difference. Um, I believe the only two things I changed. Two things. First one was Tapu Bulu. Uh, Bulu now has superpower uh, as a secondary thing to deal with. Okay, maybe I changed three things, but I'll get into that one. Uh... Now I have another thing to deal with Magneton because he did show that he wanted to bring a an Aviolite Magneton instead of a Scarf one in order to trap my Jirachi. Second one I changed is I changed Rachi from Sub Toxic to Sub T Wave. Now I can Thunder Wave literally everything on his team except for um, the thing. Actually, no, I don't think I'm Sub T Wave. I think I am U Turn T Wave with the dual flinching moves. Uh, so, uh, so that's Jirachi, Garchomp is again Scarfed, uh, Weavile is the same exact set, uh, with the Life Orb, and Mantine here, uh, I did change, it originally had Protect in Week 1, uh, to deal with a potential Scarfed Magneton, uh, see if he wants to overpredict or not, uh, when he tries to switch, uh, but this time I just changed it, and I think I put Haze? Uh, I either put Haze or Toxic in that Protect spot. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and hop right into the battle. I'm going to go ahead and lead with Garchomp this week because it just uh, I just clicked Earthquake in against anything that isn't Azel for Crobat. And if he goes into either one of those, I have an appropriate switch into those. Um, otherwise... Uh, I mean, yeah, we're, we're just going to get right into it. So we're going to go ahead and lead Garchomp, like I said. We are Scarfed, so we're going to go ahead and stay in against the Salazzle, but he actually turns out to be Scarfed uh, as well and gets off a Toxic before us. However, the Toxic is not that big of a deal because I don't plan on staying in with Garchomp all too often. Um, I was actually quite surprised not to see a Hidden Power Ice coming out from there because um, that would have been a good countermeasure uh, to Garchomp. Uh, it wouldn't have killed, however, it would have done a nice chunk of damage uh, to the point where Mach Punch uh, could have been able to take it out, or he could have more easily revenged against my Garchomp uh, if I got into a wrong situation. However, he does opt to Toxic us instead, and we are going to go ahead and go straight for the Earthquake. That's four times super effective against something that has absolutely zero defense. Um, so, of course, Salazzle is going down. Uh, so in comes his Azelf, and I figure he's going for knockoff, or he's going for an ice move. Uh, both of which Weavile resists. He could also go for stab. Uh, again, Weavile is not affected by that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop straight into Weavile, and I'm going to click knockoff, because that uh, nabs a lot of damage against anything that isn't uh, Infernape. However, if he does go Infernape, it's going to make Infernape easier to deal with. Uh, so he does knock us off as we come in. Uh, gets rid of our life orb, and uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, knock off the Magnetons of Violite, so uh, it seems to me like he's brought the same team as well, uh, so I know that he is uh, he has rest on this, so I don't really want to mess around too much with it, uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to go straight into Raikou uh, as he goes for the T-Wave. And uh, what this does is, now that he doesn't have the Aviolite in this matchup, whereas he did in the first time, I can go ahead and set up a Calm Mind uh, and not fear this thing at all. Um, because Calm Mind Raikou can uh, beat Magneton as long as I'm not toxic. This time I'm not toxic. I can set up a Calm Mind and I can uh, pretty much beat down anything that wants to come in afterwards. So. What's going to happen here is he's going to go ahead and bring in Crobat. I'm just going to click the Thunderbolt as he plops a to Toxic on us. Now, however, it's a little bit too little too late for him. Uh, as Raikou is going to be able to break pretty much uh, anything that comes in against it. I'm going to assume that this is uh, another Sashed Haxorus. And I'm going to go ahead and just click the, uh, the Hidden Power Ice 
button and it is going to bring it down not to its sash but just outside of that and he does set up the dragon dance and right here I figure Tapu Bulu probably the least useful member uh, on the team so I'm gonna go into it as a sack uh, is I'm assuming an earthquake is gonna come my way and that is what happens uh, we take almost nothing from it uh, I know a poison jab is coming I could switch into Jirachi but I don't want to uh, risk any any shenanigans there uh, and I'm gonna go straight into Weavile and just click Ice Shard. Um, he did outspeed me, so I didn't want to click Pursuit. And also, uh, since he is at only 14% now, uh, after he comes back in, he can't really do anything. Everything on my team uh, either outspeeds it or uh, Mantine just kills it. So I'm not really afraid of it. Uh, if it does switch out, uh, if I click Ice Shard, it just nabs the KO right there. He goes into Magneton, and right here. I figure I should probably just, uh, I think I, no, I do switch out. I go right back into Raikou and I try to set up again. Um, that was the plan, however, he doubles out into Haxorus, and I know that I can just click Thunderbolt at this point. Thunderbolt will be enough to take out the Haxorus, and anything that he wants to switch into, I will be uh, likely to 2 KO. I think even the Magneton, uh, maybe not the Magneton, however, I do have... A couple of good switch-ins to Magneton uh, and I can set up on Magneton if I so choose so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Thunderbolt uh, and in comes his Azelf and I'm not really afraid of this Azelf I'm just gonna go ahead and get off damage uh, risk the speed tie because I don't think anything he could go for can knock out Raikou uh, so we do win that speed tie and if he was running max speed I know I was uh, so down goes Azelf and in comes his Infernape next uh, and we are going to see here from that uh, Thunderbolt damage that he is actually a Salt Vest. He predicts me to go out into Mantine, uh, as that's what I did last time. However, uh, Mantine is not overly useful for... Or Mantine is still useful, rather. And Raikou is toxic, and I just want to get off damage. Um, and, like, as soon as Raikou goes down, I just come in with Garchomp to click Earthquake three times. Uh, I know based on that Thunderbolt damage he is not scarfed um, because he is Assault Vest and I just win with Garchomp at this point so I'm just getting off as much uh, I'm just basically sacking Raikou here uh, he clicks uh, Flare Blitz and in comes Garchomp so week one Garchomp ended up getting five kills against this team and this week it only gets four so um, yeah, not shining as well as it did in week one, unfortunately. Uh, but joking aside, uh, it was a really good game still. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like down below. And I will see you guys next time.